What's going on everybody, it's Denver and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to announce that the Movement SDK is now available as well as the repo that contains a variety of examples that I think are gonna blow your mind. We're gonna be looking at some of the demos that are available. I'm gonna show you the components that are gonna be required for you to implement some of these features, such as using eye tracking, which you can use the OVR eye gaze. You can also use a component called face expressions to basically get an enumeration that is going to contain multiple values for the blend shapes that we're getting from people's face to also getting that information in Unity. And lastly, I'm gonna show you the OVR body and also the OVR custom skeleton that is going to allow you to basically map your real world skeleton to the skeleton that we get digitally created by these components. So let's jump into my computer and start working on it. All right guys, so here's the first demo and this one is one that Meta has been showing and it looks impressive, right? So if I were to smile, move my, move my nose, eyebrows, and then what about hands? So right now I'm holding both of the controllers and it's tracking the controllers correctly. I can now move my hands around. And this one is using, you know, really cool, complicated, pretty model, but it has the OVR face expression. It has an OVR body of your skeleton, even though we're not targeting any of the body parts in here other than the hands, then the model is working fine, right? I can talk, I can get closer here. I can use also eye tracking. I'm gonna start moving my eyes around in a circle, what about up, down, up, down, thumbs down. See if I can cross them. Crossing still works, which is impressive because this is hand tracking 2.0. And I can get closer in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and select Calibrate. And you can now see how cool this is. So now we're sitting down on a chair and it's detecting that we're moving around and the chair is also moving around. I'm gonna see if I can do something like this, a smile. First, make sure that you have the requirements in here. You're gonna need Unity 2020.3.34 F1 or in your install version 46, either on the operating system of your device or also in the Oculus integration. And then you also wanna make sure that you have all of these settings set up, which is gonna walk you through how to basically configure the Android settings to be able to deploy to a Meta device. So just make sure that you do that. I'm also going to be linking to a video where I go through that process completely. And then you guys can watch that video before you keep going. And then what you need to do is there's two ways to install these. You can either clone the main branch and, and basically point to that branch and those files in Unity or you can just you know, grab one of the releases in here and put it in a folder that you like. I went and did it with Git and then basically just reference a package that JSON in there. So you're more than welcome to try either or. So what I did is I'm gonna show you how I did mine. So if I go back into Unity here, you're gonna see I already have it set up because I already installed it. But you can also go into Package Manager once you create a brand new project with URP. Then you go here into Plus and you can do the add package from Git URL I had a lot of issues doing that because there's currently a bug right now that if you open a scene from the packages directory, it's gonna give you an error saying that it's in read-only mode. So what I ended up doing is I did add a package from the disk and then I basically went into the directory where it is currently cloned and then I just double click on that and it installs everything that it needs. Just know that you're gonna need the other predefined requirements that I show you. Also project settings, the Oculus integration, version 46. Before you do this, otherwise you're gonna get an error. So once you do that, you're basically ready to go. All you really need to do is anytime you want to implement body tracking, face tracking, or eye tracking, you wanna make sure that your OVR camera rig has the following settings. The first one that you're going to need and the ones that I enable is first I did controllers in hands. I set this to V2 for the hand tracking version because I want it better quality. I also did body tracking support. I set it to require. Face tracking support, set it to require. Eye tracking support set it to require. And then also I went in here to permissions request. This one doesn't have it, but I ended up doing it. Just make sure that you enable these three options. And I believe that's everything. And just make sure you have the experimental features enabled because what I'm showing you today, it's all in experimental. Then the next thing that you'll need to do to be able to run this is you need to go into the Oculus app, make sure that you have the latest version of the Oculus app. And you're gonna go into the beta tab here and then just make sure you have the settings that I have in here. I am in the public test channel, so make sure that you have that. Develop and runtime features, I set it to on. 
pass through, I set it to on because I've been testing with that a lot. And then eye tracking and natural face expressions over Oculus Link. Make sure that you have those enabled in here and also on the device by going into the settings and the actual device. And this is cool because it'll allow you to basically play this scene and run it in runtime. The only problem with this right now is you can't really test body tracking with Oculus Link because there's really not an option in here to enable body tracking through Oculus Link. And I also reported that to the repo issue. So you might see a comment there from me because that's basically currently not working. So all the demos are in here. So if you go into the packages and then meta movement, we can make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it and then extend it. You're gonna see that we have the one for, you know, the one that I show you at the very beginning, which is this one with the hands. And it's basically everything here, it's gonna be mirror because the way that they implement it is they have a mirror model of what you're basically doing getting captured. So if you go in here, you're gonna see that we have our OVR camera rig. And if you extend it, there's gonna be the Aura first person, which is gonna be the character. And you're gonna see that it has the OVR body, blend shape mapping, if you want to map the blend shapes on your model in here. And I'm not gonna be covering all these because there's too many details, but know that the Aura first person is gonna have, you know, everything that you need to be able to capture expressions and also information about your body. The same thing with the other one. So if you go here to the other example, which is which are more advanced and to me more, way more impressive, is you can go into the character and then scenes, double click here and you're gonna see that we have the one that I really got blown away because it looked really, really cool. And again, you can go into the, the rig in here and then OVR camera rig. And then for every single one of these, make sure you have the right settings because Sometimes they don't carry through. I think in this case, they probably did. Okay, I think I did because it actually adds those to uh, a file, which is gonna be, I think, I believe it's this file, yeah. Once you do it in one scene, it's gonna basically carry over to the other scenes because it is in a serializable file. But anyways, so this component also has mirror, a mirror one, and also the the one that you see right here. And then there's one for hip pinning, which, which I also got impressed because this is the one where the character is actually sitting down and then you have the calibration and then also the retargeting. So again, there's a lot more in here that I need to learn personally before I show you and teach you these features. But just know that this is available in this repo. And if you guys have any questions, I'm gonna be doing a video first on eye tracking next, just to show you how that works and also face expressions. Just make sure that you stick around and you subscribe to the channel because that's going to be coming this week. So that's everything for today, guys. So let me know if you like what you saw, anything that you're curious about, any questions, let me know in the comments. And thank you very much, guys.